Our seventh reading comes from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. A new heart and a new spirit. Say to the house of Israel, Thus says the Lord God, I will take you from the nations and gather you from all the countries and bring you into your own land. I will sprinkle clean water upon you and you shall be clean from all your uncleanness and from all your idols. I will cleanse you. And from all your idols I will cleanse you. A new heart I will give you and a new spirit I will put within you. And I will remove from your body the heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. I will put my spirit within you and make you follow my statutes and be careful to observe my ordinances. Then you shall live in the land that I gave to your ancestors and you shall be my people and I will be your God. Let us respond by reciting Psalm 42 in unison. As the deer longs for the water brooks, so longs my soul for you, O God. My soul is a thirst for God, a thirst for the living God. When shall I come to appear before the presence of God? My tears have been my food day and night, while all day long they say to me, Where now is your God? I pour out my soul when I think on these things, how I went with the multitude and led them into the house of God. With the voice of praise and thanksgiving among those who keep holy day. Why are you so full of heaviness, O my soul? And why are you so disquieted within me? Put your trust in God, for I will yet give thanks to him who is the help of my countenance and my God. My soul is heavy within me. Therefore, I will remember you from the land of Jordan and from the peak of Mizar among the heights of Hermon. One deep calls to another in the noise of your cataracts. All your rapids and floods have gone over me. The Lord grants his loving kindness in the daytime. In the night season, his song is with me, a prayer to the God of my life. I will say to the God of my strength, why have you forgotten me? And why do I go so heavily while the enemy oppresses me? While my bones are being broken, my enemies mock me to my face. All day long they mock me and say to me, Where now is your God? Why are you so full of heaviness, O my soul? And why are you so disquieted within me? Put your trust in God, for I will yet give thanks to him who is the help of my countenance and my God. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, who in the paschal mystery established the new covenant of reconciliation, grant that all who are reborn into the fellowship of Christ's body may show forth in their lives what they profess by their faith, Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. This passage for the prophet Ezekiel touches on a theme that crops up in various parts of Scripture. It is the theme of the heart, the heart that is replaced. And if you don't think about it, right away it just seems so simple a heart of stone with a heart of flesh seems good and it is good but this goodness is something we know we must know it comes at a cost a heart of stone cannot be hurt 
A heart of flesh is easily bruised and cut. In fact, a parallel passage in the prophet Jeremiah speaks of the law being cut into the heart. And the words in the Hebrew indicate that this is being chiseled in. There is no erasing this. It is something undoable and yet so good. So think on this. What might it mean to embrace a heart of flesh with all the vulnerability of that and to see in that very vulnerability the gift of God? Think on this.